You might have already heard of the word fast food culture, or have at least tried eating fast food in Hong Kong before. Yet, how well do you know about them? In the following, John, Fiona, David, and Hillary, the four of us will bring you back to the 1960s and start learning about the past, present, and future of fast foods. Sounds fun and exciting, right? Well, why not stimulate our minds with the first question of the day? Do the following belong to fast foods? Rice rolls, clay pot rice, buffet, and baked pork rice. Well, fast foods are defined as being prepared and served very quickly, highly standardized, and with minimal services. Now, are you ready? Let's begin our journey. In the past. There was no fast food culture in Hong Kong, as it is a foreign concept. But even before the invasion of Western fast food shops in the late 1960s, Hong Kong people had already demanded for speed and convenience. Dai Pai Dong could meet their needs as the food was served quickly, and this may be considered as an early analog to fast food culture in Hong Kong. However, Dai Pai Dong is quite distinct from a truly fast food shop. The hygiene conditions in Dai Pai Dong were very poor. For example, the plates were washed with the same bucket of water for a whole day, and there were a lot of rubbish, sewage, and animals nearby. Also, Dai Pai Dong were located outdoor and have caused noise and air pollution to the surrounding environment, as well as the blocking of streets and traffic congestion by the seats and tables. Moreover. It was dangerous for people to eat during windy and rainy days. Because of the problems brought by their rapid growth, the government greatly restricted the issuance of licenses to Dai Pai Dong since 1954, and the license cannot be inherited to next generations anymore. In addition, cholera, a disease caused by contaminated food or water, was prevalent in Hong Kong in 1960s. Many people consumed less in Dai Pai Dong for the sake of their safety. A lot of Dai Pai Dong were forced to close down. This brought the opportunities for the invasion of Western fast food shops, which are indoor, usually with air conditioning and washrooms. The clean and comfortable environment, wider range of food provided, and low price were attractive to Hong Kong people. French fries, hot dogs, sandwiches. And salads are Western food that were new to them and attracted many teenagers to eat. Many Dai Pai Dong were thus replaced by fast food shops. They have become more successful since 1980s due to Hong Kong's rapid economic development, resulting in a fast-paced living style. Modern people are more willing to spend more time on working or resting, so they want to reduce the time for eating. They just aim to fill the stomach instead of enjoying the meal. Also, it is difficult to find seats in restaurants during lunch time, and so fast food shops has brought the trend of takeaway service. Created using Powtoon.